Hello. Good morning. It's Saturday. Just dropped my kids off with their dad. And I am headed to get my first ever. Actually, I can't say my first. It is my first actual Brazilian wax. But I had attempted to do one at home a couple years back. Which was a fucking disaster. Um, and I managed to... Um, use the Sally's, like the Gigi brand I think it is, the hard, it wasn't hard wax, it was actually soft wax, but the stripless one, that um, oh sorry, oh oh, the stripless wax and um, I think I was like too grown out, I put it on the temperature, or I let it sit the temperature wasn't right, and it ended up turning my freaking coochie into a conch, like a shell like a concha and then I was like, maybe if I add another swiping of it so then I end up encasing the whole vagina in the wax and it was hard I could like knock on it I couldn't get it off it was a disaster and I recorded that but it was on some app that no longer exists really so the video was like lost somewhere and it was stupid because I emailed it to myself and because the app disappeared all of its videos and content gets disappeared or erased along with the app so that would have been really funny though I always wanted to like share that because it was a disaster I'm out of breath um so yeah I'm getting ready to go get this Brazilian wax done I've been growing out for about two weeks and along with pregnancy hormones shaking a lot along with pregnancy hormones um hair growth is rather quick so I'm hoping that it's long enough. I don't really know what, they say like a grain of rice. I can't even see my fucking coochie anymore. It's been a few months since I've been able to look down and see it. I feel like a stuffed turkey. Yeah, so I don't know what it looks like. I'm just gauging based off of my armpit hair because I'm gonna get my armpits waxed also that um, they should be probably about the same length and I should be about a grain of rice. Hopefully. If not, I'm gonna have to go another week with this fucking troll growing here. It's horrible. Anyways, <laughs> um, I am going to be 26 weeks in two days. Yeah. Right? Or am I already 26 weeks? I keep getting lost about this. Um, I'm 25 weeks, so I'm gonna be 26 weeks. And my baby is driving me crazy because he was like moving and kicking a lot last night and at like 2 in the morning I was having insomnia. Oh, hold on, there's the police here. At like 2 in the morning I was having really bad insomnia and I couldn't sleep. And um, he was like kicking like crazy. So maybe he just overexerted himself and he's being a lazy boy today, but I hate when I don't feel him moving. Like it's been all morning. I think I woke up at eight and it's like 10, 15 now. So two hours, 15 minutes, I haven't felt him kick. But I've also been up straightening my hair or blow drying my hair, getting my kids ready, making breakfast. So maybe I just was too busy to realize he was moving. I don't know, but I'm drinking a drink and it's like a, um, a chai tea that I make at home. I realize, sorry, shit's good. The, um, every coffee place obviously is going to offer very few decaf options for drinks. It's like either all or none. You know, you can't really just find something with less caffeine or something that tastes really good still. So I just found this is like the best ever that I could make at home. I struggled and tried to find different chai teas that were really yummy. Um, and I'm basically just using the Tazo chai tea, which is the same one that Starbucks uses. I would prefer the Oregon one because that one's hella good, but I can't really find the pre-mixed chai box. So I just use the Tazo chai and then I use the is it the Cold Stone Creamer with sweet cream? Oh, that one is so fucking good. I've been addicted for years. And um, I'll put in almond milk. So I'll use a little bit of chai, a little bit of creamer, 
the rest almond milk, cinnamon, mix it up and throw some ice in. It's hella good. So good. And it's caffeine free chai, so I feel good about that. I don't need any caffeine. I feel like I can use some because I'm extremely tired. But um, with my heart, and my blood pressure, and pregnancy, it's just not. It's probably best that I avoid caffeine as much as possible. But I'm getting loaded up on hella sugar, which is no good either. Uh, so I'm just gonna drive. I'm almost there. My appointment's in about 45 minutes, but my sister's actually there getting her Brazilian done right now. And I'm gonna meet up with another friend of mine. We're both getting our first. <laughs> We're both getting our first today. Um, so yeah, I will try to record a little bit when I get over there. Maybe while I'm getting it done. I don't know what they're gonna allow. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm here at the place where I'm getting a wax. I played myself because I chugged my drink down hella fast. And um, made me have to poop. I don't really want to poop before getting a wax. You know what I'm saying? Like, when there's a lot of stuff going on and hot strip and pulling, and I just don't want to have poop down there while I'm getting waxed. This is gross. Have someone all up in your fucking giblets and you smell like doo doo. I don't want that. Um,. I'm also worried that if I don't poop beforehand, I'm in their fucking prairie dog and turtle head and you know, I don't want to be having to poop while getting waxed and I'm gassy. It's just a disaster right now. So I'm torn, literally torn about what I should do. Like, should I go poop before getting the wax? I guess I can go and wash up very well prior to the waxing. Yeah. yeah My stomach just doesn't feel right. It feels nasty. <laughs> oh god. Is this because I'm nervous about the waxing? Do you think I'm getting fucking chorro because I'm nervous? I gotta find something to do with myself. All right, so I just <laughs> I just came out of my um, my appointment. Um, it was hella fucking painful. It was so gross, but just like the top area, like behind, or like where the pubic bone is at, that shit hurt. Like I was like, and then I nervous laughed, so like I didn't want to like cry or anything hurt. I don't really cry about that kind of stuff, but. Um, it hurt, it burned, not like because the wax was hot, that's just the best way I can describe it. it. It just hurt, it hurt so bad. And then she had to go over it several times because I have thick, coarse ass hair. Um, <laughs> yeah, she had to go over it hella times. So it wasn't just like, oh, you know, two labia strips and two outer labia type coochie fold area strips and two booty crack strips. It was like maybe 10 on top, the three in the back. Like, <laughs> and then she waxed my booty hole too. That didn't hurt. The booty hole does not hurt compared to the, uh, the pubic bone region. Even the inner labia, I thought she was gonna rip my clit off because it got real hot. At one point, it didn't even hurt. I can't tell if I'm... Ooh. Yeah, the labia, the inner labia didn't hurt. It was just the top. <sighs> but I'm glad that I did it. And I, it's, I can't see my coochie because my stomach is too big. So I'm hoping that when I get home, I can pull the mirror out and look at it. You know? Like my blade on. Um, I did my armpits too. Those were just as... Hard. Like she had to go over them like three times and still had to tweeze after because the hair is just so coarse in there. And because I haven't waxed my armpits in a long time and never waxed my coochie before, um, it was intense. I was sweating in there. I wouldn't stop laughing. It was. <laughs> it 
it was cool though. Now I am going to go get a pedicure. <sighs> I'm gonna go get a pedicure now and then head home after that. I really wanna go eat at Benihana's. I'm craving it so bad, but I'm gonna wait. I have a coupon for my birthday or it's like you get a free like $30 coupon. I want lobster, but I'm gonna wait until next week to use that. So, I guess I'll update later. I just wanted to share this little experience. Okay, okay, bye. <laughs>